What's up guys, it's MB Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Edgar Berlenga versus Steve Rolls, and this is going to be a 10-rounder in the super middleweight division, and this fight is going to be Saturday, March 19th, from the Madison Square Garden Theater in New York City, New York, and this fight is going to be broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And to get into both fighters' resumes, Edgar Berlenga fighting out of the United States by way of Puerto Rico, Holds a record of 18 wins, no defeats with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 16 by box rec in the super middleweight division. And to list some of his best victories, he has a unanimous decision win over Damon Nicholson. And he's also coming off a unanimous decision victory over Marcelo Esteban Cosares. And in that fight, he was knocked down for the first time in his professional career. And to get in his opponent's resume... Steve Rolls fighting out of Canada, holds a record of 21 wins, 1 defeat with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 47 by box rec in the middleweight division. Um, and to list his one and only defeat, it came by knockout to Gennady Golovkin. And to list some of his best victories, he has a split decision win over Damon Nicholson. And he's coming off a knockout victory over Christopher Brooker. And in my opinion, this fight is going to go in favor of the young, hard-hitting, and undefeated super middleweight contender, Edgar Berlenga. Berlenga, I know in his last two fights, I mean, they haven't been as exciting as his 16 other fights, but still, they were against tougher competition, and he was able to get some rounds in going 10 rounds in his most recent fight and 8 rounds in that fight against Nicholson. Although many people were thinking that he was going to stop Nicholson and stop Coceres, I mean, he still showed that he is more than just a power puncher, and although some people might say there were lackluster performances that I mentioned before, he still got rounds in, and we're still getting to see Berlenga develop as an established contender in the super middleweight division. So Berlenga here, he's facing Steve Rolls. Rolls is probably on the level just above, like, Cosares, like somewhere around there, um, like a decent level fighter, maybe around Damon Nicholson. Like, I don't really think it's too much of a step up from then. Even though Rolls did defeat Nicholson, I mean, he only beat him by split decision, and his style in my opinion, should actually match perfectly for Berlenga. I think that this fight could definitely end just like um, how Rolls' fight with Triple G ended. And I know you might say, Berlenga couldn't even stop Nicholson. How is he going to stop Rolls? Um, but Rolls, I mean, I just think that his chin isn't that great. And when it's a matchup against a power puncher like Berlenga, I mean, it's going to probably end like with how Triple G um, did to Steve Rolls, but um, Rolls, I mean, he'll probably try and box in this fight, probably try and counter Berlenga like Kosteres did, and that's exactly how Berlenga got dropped. He got caught with a counterpunch off the ropes, and um, yeah, that's really going to be Steve Rolls' game plan. I don't really think he's going to have much success, even as much success that Kosteres did, and Kosteres made that fight pretty competitive um, towards the latter stages as he was starting to box in the second half and was able to score that knockdown, as I mentioned many times before. So, yeah, I think Edgar Berlanga is going to be the one coming forward in this fight, really trying to go for that knockout, and I think he's going to get it. Well, as I mentioned before, Steve Rolls is going to be the one on the outside, trying to box, trying to counter Berlanga, and try and get him with a good shot. So Berlanga, I know he was credited for the that 16 knockout, first round knockout streak, but um, now he's really starting to test the waters against these established contenders, former world title challengers, and... um. Hopefully, if he gets his victory, he could be able. To, he's going to be able to take on like a decent level fighter, like a really good, solid f top fifteen, top twenty five fighter, and we'll really get to see whether Edgar Belenga is the real deal. Because right now he's facing guys who are just outside the top twenty five, maybe just in it, like somewhere around there, like Nicholson, like Coseres, and even C. Rolls. Like there are guys that are ranked amongst that range. But um, we'll really get to see who Belenga is once he starts to fight actual top-rated fighters, and um, I hope that this is just another stepping stone for that, and that he's able to get the victory here, and as I mentioned before, I think that Edgar Berlanga will get the stoppage, and comment down below your thoughts on Edgar Berlanga, because recently many people have been sort of um, saying, yeah, he's a hype job, many people are saying, no, he's still really good, and I just want to see many people's comments down below on their thoughts on this fighter, but um, Berlanga, in my opinion, he's just a young, rising power punching contender, and um, he's coming off solid victories, although he got dropped, but um, yeah, this is just another step, and I think that he will get the stoppage victory here, I mean, it could end exactly what Triple, D, Triple G did, or left rolls, like, just flat on the canvas out, it could be um, just a standing stoppage, it could be any stoppage, I, I'm just predicting a knockout victory, nonetheless, 
for Edgar Belenga. And I think that this uh, stoppage will happen in the first half of the fight. So from rounds one to rounds five, I could I definitely expect Edgar Berlenga to get the knockout victory. So overall, I believe that Edgar Berlenga will improve to 19-0 with 17 knockouts, as I think he will get a knockout victory from rounds one to rounds five against Steve Rolls. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.